Good morning and welcome to Glory Baptist Church. We're going to start off with prayer and we're going to switch over then into the children's Christmas nativity program. And we are glad that you were able to come out and we're thankful for our children being willing to participate in this and uh, put forth the effort to share the Christmas story with us. So let us open in prayer and we will go from there. Father God, we thank you for this beautiful day that you've created the chance to be together to worship you. We praise you for these children, Lord, and their hearts, their desire to know you more. And we pray, God, as they go through the telling of this story, that it would impact them and impact us, and that truly it would help us uh, see the reason for the season is Jesus Christ. And so, God, we praise you for that, that you sent your son, Emmanuel, to be God with us into this world. And we are truly blessed and humbled and, and thankful for that. And just pray your, your extra portion of blessing upon on uh, Melissa and Yvonne and those who've helped put this together, upon each one of these students as they do their part, and then your blessing upon us, Lord, as the people who will be watching and receiving it. Uh, may we indeed be challenged and inspired from it. God, you are good, and we praise you and thank you in this. It is in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Yeah. Okay, welcome again, everyone. That break wasn't too long, so that was good. Um, I want to say thank you before we get started, because I think once we get started, then thank yous, I think, get forgotten, because it gets a little crazy. And then, So Ruth um, has been taking her time to come and practice and help us get the mics where they need to go, and she has a lot of input on that kind of stuff, things that I don't know. Um, Mary, last minute, has decided to jump over there and play piano, so it's a good thing she knows what she's doing over there, <laughs> right? Um, Yvonne has been here every day, every, every Sunday that we practice. We've had a few practices, so I think these kids did a really great job with the small amount of time that we've had to put it together, so you'll see that. So thank you, Yvonne, for that. And then the parents who bring them and also give input um, when we try to figure out where the kids should stand and what they should do. It's good to have more than one person trying to figure that out. Um, my husband, right here in the front, he gathered these out of our yard during a Vikings game. <laughs> so that was very nice of you. I don't think he really wanted to be doing that <laughs> that time. Um, so that was pretty neat. And I don't know. And Dan, and Dan came here with his tools and things that we forgot when we were trying to put this together. So he came in uh, to the rescue with those. So we're going to start by singing Hark the Herald Angels Sing together. So let's begin. Why don't we stand?
The kids who are in the play will come to the stage as they are called. First, we have Sion Swanson as the narrator. Thank you. Uh, Jordan Gortz is the angel. Just stand right there. Carter Peets is Joseph. Allie Gortz is Mary. Miley Hurd is the innkeeper. Three wise men, Noah Hurd, Eli Hurd, and Justice Myros. Shepherds, Josiah and Silas. Okay. Oh, Isaiah. And Harlow. If you want to bring Harlow up here. Harlow is baby Jesus. So we have... All right. So we are about to enjoy a story that has been told and retold for 2,000 years. The Nativity reveals something very special about God, that he was prepared to be with us and live among us. Okay, you guys may go sit down. Long ago in the city of Nazareth, an angel appeared before a young woman named Mary. It was the angel Gabriel. God has chosen you to be the mother of his son Jesus. I am a servant of God. I believe it will happen as you have said. Mary was engaged to be married to Joseph, a young carpenter. After the angel appeared to Joseph and told him about the baby, not long after, Joseph and Mary had to travel to Bethlehem to pay their taxes. It's going to be a long journey. If your legs get tired or weary, you can ride my donkey. Please, please help. My wife is about to have a baby. Do you have a room? No, in such a shop, all my rooms are full for guests from across the country. All I can offer is my stable out back where I keep all the hand. Thank you so much. We'll take it. Thank you. At last, we have somewhere. Just one second. Let me grab a lantern.
That very night, the baby was born. Mary wrapped him up to keep him warm. There was no crib for the baby, so Mary laid him in the animal's manger. The kids will now sing for you Away in a Manger. In the fields nearby, the shepherds who were watching their sheep saw an angel appear in the sky. We do go to be- let's go to Bethlehem. Yes, then we can see what has happened. I want to see what the Lord has told us. The shepherds went to the stable, and when they saw the little baby in the manger, they were filled with joy. The shepherds knelt down before little Jesus. Then they went to tell people what the angel had said about the newborn baby. Far away in the east lived three wise men. They saw the star in the sky. The three wise men knew the star was a sign, a sign that their Lord Jesus had been born. So the wise men set out to follow the star. The star led them all the way to Bethlehem. They went inside the stable and saw Mary with the newborn baby. Because you are the king of kings, we bring you gold, frankincense, and myrrh. (laughs) 
Everyone was filled with joy. Even the animals in the stable seemed to know how special this baby was. Now everywhere, every year at Christmas, we celebrate the birth of Jesus Christ because he brought the good news of God's love to the world. The end. Okay, we are now going to sing together Joy to the World. We can stand and sing. (laughs) 